So, you want to make a clean motion graphic intro. Well, go ahead and grab your Windex, because this thing's about to get clean. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at uh, this kind of animation right here. I remember to put it at the beginning of the video this time. Oh yeah. Anyway, um, I figure we'll do this because it's super simple, super easy, and I love doing motion graphics. You guys love it. You guys keep asking me for more motion graphics stuff, so that's what we're going to do. Really simple, uh, really clean. We're going to go ahead and hit delete on default cube and select our lamp and hit delete on that as well. I'm going to go up to edit, preferences, go to add-ons and type in images and then make sure images as planes is checked and then go ahead and just close that on out. We can go ahead and hit shift A. Shift A to go ahead and go on down to image and select image images as planes. Now there's gonna open up a, a nice dialog where you can choose what image you want, and I'll meet you guys there in one shake of a, of, of a uh, salt shaker. We're gonna go ahead and, and make sure this is on emit. Now we have the plane all in here. We it's all good now and it, it's set up and whatnot. I'm gonna go ahead and hit R Z ninety negative on our on our um, keyboard there and then left click to confirm that now I'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, grab our camera left click that hit alt G and alt R to clear the location and rotation of course hit RX 90 on our numpad then left click to confirm that hit G Y and move this bad boy back behind our plane we can hit zero to go into the cameras view and select the plane here we can go to material mode and hit S to scale this bad boy up. Now you can see we have this gorgeous, gorgeous M here that I made just a little bit ago, um, and we're going to be using this as our motion graphics. So what we're going to do is I want to do just a simple kind of whipping motion into the frame or whatever, because like the M is kind of like slanted, it's kind of like whoosh going in, there's like these lines and whatnot. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and kind of animate this a little bit. So I'm going to drag open our timeline, uh, change my start frame to zero, and then go to this the first frame, which is now zero. Open up this tab right here and go to frame rate and change this from 24 to 60, of course. I'm going to go ahead and also change our file format while we're here to FFMPEG video. And then make sure the encoding is on Matroska. Actually, I'm, I'm sorry, Matroska. I'm going to leave it on uh, MPEG, so M MPEG4. And then change the video codec to FFMPEG video codec number one. Now, this is going to give us that transparency that we want if we check RGBA. Make sure that A is there. That stands for alpha. Now, once we have that all set up, we can go to rendered, and you can now see, well, if I go ahead and scroll on down in this tab right here, in the main tab, uh, we can go to film and check transparent. Now you can see we have that transparency, uh, which is what we need for a transparent background uh, to overlay this over top of something else so later on, like a video clip or, or whatever have you. So, we can also, real quick while we're here, go to color management, and then change this from filmic to standard, and now my M is actually green like I want, instead of very dull like it was. Very cool. So now, we can actually do some animation. I'm going to grab our M here, and then go to maybe frame, let's do uh, 5, and then hit I, location, right? And then on 0, we're going to actually move it, we're going to move it up. So I'm going to move it down on zero and then hit I location. So when we play this, you can see it goes up, but we're going to make this go slower. So I'm going to grab the frame that's on five and hit G and move this to frame 50 approximately. We'll see. Uh, yeah, that's good. And then on frame 100, I'll hit I location and then go back to 50, 50 and then slightly hit GZ and then move it slightly down. Hit GZ and move it slightly down just a little tiny bit. It's like that. Then hit I location. Now when we play this, you can see that the M gets there, slowly moves up to where it is, which is very nice. And now I think this is moving a little too slow, so I'm actually going to cut, cut this in half. So I'm going to move frame 50 to frame 25, which is right there, and then move frame 100 to frame 50. Now we're going to go ahead and play this again. I think it looks really good. There we go. Now, I'm going to turn viewport denoising off because it's making some weird, like I can't see the animation properly because it's denoising it so much. It's just like kind of blurring everything together. You can see like the difference. It's kind of blurring things a little bit. If I uncheck it, it's going to make it nice and clean and crisp. So that looks much better. All right. Um, we're going to go ahead and what do I want to do for this animation going out? Do I just want to like, hmm, do I want to just like... Do I want to change around the, the transparency and just make it like 
completely transparent. Ooh, you know what we should do? We're going to use the holdout shader again because it's my favorite thing. So I'm going to hit Shift A and we're going to search for a mesh plane and then RX90, of course. Hit G, Y to move this uh, forward above the M. And then we're going to go to the material tab here and hit uh, principal BSDF and change it to holdout. Now you can see that it is now transformed to a transparent plane, which is nice because it is now hiding the M that I want to hide, of course. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit SZ. Just follow me a little bit here. I think this is what we're going to do. So I'm going to hit SZ to scale it down on the Z axis, but I'm not going to scale it down fully. So on frame maybe 100, let's do 100. On frame 100, we can, we, can, we can always move it later on. On frame 100, I'm going to hit I, uh, scaling. Then on frame uh, b -b 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 110, I'm going to hit I, scaling. Then on frame 150, I'm going to hit I, scaling. And then on frame 200, we're going to hit I, scaling. Now, we're going to change our in frame to 200, like that. Now, we entered a bunch of keyframes here as markers. Let's go ahead and actually give them values now. So, on frame... 100 I want to hit SZ 0 now we scale this 0 so now it's completely like gone and it's gone we can't see it anymore I'm gonna hit I scaling now when we see when we scrub you can see it just kind of appears which is what I want um, but I want this to open up a bit more so I'm gonna hit on frame 110 I'm gonna hit SZ and scale it up to about there eh, maybe 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 there and then I scaling then on frame 150, uh, we will open it up practically all the way, leave a little tiny bit of green, hit I, scaling, and then on the last frame, on two, 200, we will go ahead and hit S, Z, and scale it all the way up so everything is covered up like that. Hit I, scaling. Now, you can see when we play this, you can see we have a very nice, let me turn my overlays off, right there, overlays. We, you see when I play this, we have a very nice opening, it comes up, and then it kind of goes away, which is very nice, that's what I wanted. So... Um, now you can see we need to obviously have this M start a specific way as well because right now you can see the M kind of just comes up out of nowhere which is not what I want. So what we're going to do is I really want this to kind of come out of nowhere as well. So we'll hit shift A. I'm sorry shift A. Right? Uh, uh, we'll grab our uh, holdout shader plane and you know what we'll do? We'll actually we'll create a new plane. We'll create an entirely new plane. So hit shift A. Uh, mesh plane RX90. Uh, Left click to confirm, G, Y to move it above the um, M. Then we're going to grab that same holdout shader material, which is the material point 001. Then we're going to go ahead and move this down a little bit until the edge, the top of it is right on the edge of the M. So you can see right there. Hit I location. And then on frame maybe like 10, we will just move it down completely. So G, X, uh, G, Z, sorry, and then move it just all the way down here. Where it's not out where it's out of the way then hit i location now you can see when we turn my overlays off we can play this and the m kind of comes out of nowhere looks good and disappears now it comes out of nowhere again and you can do this uh, actually i think i might want to do this the other direction the plane i want to go up instead so we're gonna go like this and move it up there i location and then we'll move this like this i location all right cool let's see what those like oh yeah i think i like that better Definitely. It might be a little too quick, though, so let's grab frame 10, hit G, move to frame 20, see what it looks like right there, and then play it again. Oh, yeah, maybe even sh uh, 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 more on frame 30. Oh, yeah, 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 that's definitely it. I like that. I'm going to be done for today's tutorial. That is it. I hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. Very cool motion graph. Very simple to do. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one, but until then, bye-bye.